Goodbye. Hello. Hoi. I'm Timmy. Hoi. I'm Tim. Us Tims have a deep history. Yeah, yeah, go to the Tim shop. Can I buy? Heals 2 HP. Food of Tim. Discount food of Tim. <laughs> huh. Heals 2 HP. Food of Tim. Expensive. <laughs> college? College Tim pursue higher education. Tim pay for college. That's a lot of gold. Okay. Wondering if it would change. Okay! That was interesting. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do here? Oh, the path has been marked. Perfect. Oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot to do that. Well, I did the same mistake twice. Mold small. But one of those moves and the other one doesn't. The one that doesn't move is the, the other one. Suddenly, Whoa. why did I have to wiggle my hips? Moldy big, moldy bag, mold bag. Need some distance. Don't worry, I'll unhug. You don't hug mold bug. It appreciates respect and its boundaries. Go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So now go to the lantern room after you get there. Okay. Oh, wait, that was. Oh, okay. It was a dead end. Okay, so this is the lantern room. Uh, I don't remember which way I went. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume this is the wrong way. Wash Oh no! I'm stupid. Power's neutralized. No, that joke's too dirty. Flashing you playfully. Ah, interesting. Huh. Scrub a dub dub. Ah! Green means clean. Green means clean. Victorious. This was the wrong way. Oh God. Uh, dead end, right? Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that wasn't that bad at all. 
Wait, the light's still going out. I don't like this. Behind you. Oh god. Up. Okay. Oh god. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Boss Bataru! Boss Bataru! I'm dying! I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait... Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? I think I got lucky. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> okay, so I go up, up. Oh, I see. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. You're nearly at the boss fight. You hear a passing conversation. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. Aww. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Oh god. Okay. Can I go down? Yo! So you escaped, kid? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um. Yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me. Um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. That's for the best, kid. It's for the best. <gasps> no! Oh. Yo, whoa, whoa, wait! Help! I tripped! Save the kid! Save the kid! What are you standing around for? Get over here, dude! Didn't know I could move. Yeah, yo, dude! If, if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. No, kid, don't be, don't be a hero. Oh, that worked. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. 
Yes, being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well, just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. I bet they are, kid. I bet they are. Later, dude. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I got out of a battle. That's all I care about. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't supposed to happen. Maybe I did something wrong? I don't know. Uh-oh. Does this? Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? In your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. You're gonna fight on dying. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! Oh god, she took her helmet off. She's like a pirate fish. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Alpine's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you! You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again! And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. Tomboy Undyne, I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> save! For the love of God, save. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Let's do this. I'm hyped. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. On dying attacks. Ooh, we donned it an now. We donned it an now. <laughs> what can I do? Bleed? Challenge? Let's bleed. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Undyne bounces impatiently. Okay, so... There was a blue wall, the arrows... The wall blocks the arrows. I'm guessing. Challenge. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets- Oh god, why did I challenge? When your soul turns red, flee. Okay. Not bad. Then how about this? Oh, okay. I control the wall. Got it, got it. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Attack, 50, defense, 20. A heroine that never gives up. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne bounces impatiently. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Don't want to make a faster. <laughs> I won't let you snatch it away from us. Uh, 
Undyne Flesh is a menacing smile. I just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Ugh, enough warming up. Oh, God. Run. I was told to flee. Escape. Run! Ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> you won't get away from me this time. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Undyne Towers, threateningly. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Ah! That slow moving one was a lie. Undyne supports as a huge boulder just because she can! Okay. Be brave. Killing you now is an act of mercy. I don't want to fight, so stop being so damn resilient! Just keep running and say, oh god. Any deal? You've escaped from me for the last time. Monster candy it is. Elfies told me humans were determined. Oh. Just trick arrows. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. No human made it past Eskimo, like me. <laughs> it, it seems so. <clears throat> uh -oh. All right, let me get a quick, quick drink of water. Cool the nerves. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's win one for humanity. Don't want to fight. I see now what she meant by that. Oh, it's a trick arrow. It always go opposite. I like how I still missed. Smells like sushi. Okay, so yellow was opposite. I got it. I think I've seen all the tricks. I don't want to fight. But I'm, but I'm determined to. Oh God. Multiple trick arrows. I will take the Astro food. HP was maxed out. Determined to end this right now. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Right now! Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Right now! Undyne thinks of her friend. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight. <laughs> if you do genocide Undyne, the Undyne is hardest. Oh god. Undyne holds her fists in front of her and shakes her head. Need to heal. Need to heal. Unicycle. 
Yeah, die already, you little brat! Oh god. That wasn't that bad, actually. Whoa! Dodged it. Get out of here, get out of here. Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Click. Run, run, run. Run, 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 kid. Run, 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 kid. Oh! Can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. I think I should take the cup of water. <laughs> You take a cup of water. Have some. Have some. Oh. Do I give her the water? I think it's the thing I should do. <clears throat> I'm torn between not and yes. I feel like yes is the thing I should do. <laughs> I'm going to go with yes. I spared your life. Nobody dies. I think I, I, I think I did it. I think I did it. <laughs> Can I get another glass of water? Yes. I think I saw Sands. The cup of water returned to the water cooler. Interesting. Oh, he's gone. I wonder what would have happened. Oh, God, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? K -k 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 Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Interesting. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. Oh my god. I think I should say. <laughs> Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. The hot land laboratory entrance. Oh man. <clears throat> What's down here? Is this the ferryman? Tra la la! Captain Underpants. I'm the river man of the river sticks. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Undyne's house is next to... Oh, that's right. I can go back to the house. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Ride in the boat? Yeah. Where will we go today? Oh, fast travel! Hell yeah. Waterfall. Then we're off. Tra la la! Remember to take a break every so often. Oh, I think I know where I am. Come again sometime. Tra la la! Yes, yes, I know where I am. I know where I am. The house is right here. locked. Can I not get in? Oh, 
Oh, you really came. Oh, that's right, I died. I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Put on the cool... Cool music. Now I can't get in fights. What the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is worse than Shiren. No way, Shiren's way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear. Forget it. The speed is too filthy. Whoosh. Wait, don't leave me. Music man. Hey, <laughs> throw away. <laughs> 335.77. Thanks for hanging out with the stream, man. Yes, this music. Oh my god. I'm all about it. Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Please stop. I'll never creep again. What? Dun, 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 dun. Quack. This little bird wants to carry you across. Should I? I don't see why not. If anything bad happens, I can just reload the safe. You did it, little bird! Anything is possible. Wrong one. Uh-oh. That duck can yeet you if you wanted to. <laughs> so kind of similar to Zelda. So wait, where am I? There's Sands, that's where I look at this telescope. Oh, wait, did I go... Did I go way, way, way? Don't. Don't let me. Don't let me. <laughs> Is it just going to get tired if I go back and forth too many times? Is still top notch. Is it this one? Oh, here we go. Papyrus. Oh, -ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... <laughs> this got awkward. Why don't you two come in? What? 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 It's a living... Oh, cool. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> Way too many of those. So are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Just out the damn window. Alright, that happened. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Never underestimate a fishy woman. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that was like a very, so far that was like the most unique boss fight. There was running, there was new mechanics, like each time she caught up with me, 
Very well done. I also liked her spunky can-do attitude. But in the end, I prevailed. <clears throat> yep. No. Then why are you here? Wait. I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How <laughs> delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not... Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought I could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Ha 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 ha, joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just gonna be friends. We're gonna be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> That's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah, we're going to be friends. As a friend, I'm going to borrow the sword. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Uh... <laughs> uh... Does jousting count? That's kind of ten times the size of a human, maybe. Balls. I don't know what to say. You know what, I want to be bestie so true. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Thank God they're away. <laughs> I wasn't sure on that one. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Cool. I also see your uh, anime is real, so. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, throwaway. Anime is real. In our hearts. Look at everything. I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! So it's an oven? You turned your fridge into an oven. It's an oven. It's an oven. There's this drawer drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Always keep nunchucks in the silverware drawer. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. The bone drawer. Doggo! What the hell? Oven is on top of the line. Uh -oh. MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Just true. This piano. One time, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All I did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Hedonism bot. I believe you're talking about hedonism bot. A whole deliciously absurd. Pour the jelly. What's in the secret door? Oh, is this a question I'm dying? Ah, the lore. We'll have to get there. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Ah. 
<laughs> MTT brand everything. Well, maybe some nerds. You're being kind of creepy. Alright. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. <laughs> uh... Annoying dog is Toby Fox. That's the creator, right? Correct? Like I... Wink. Uh -uh. Alright, I guess I talk to her now. Mm-hmm. Alright. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Why, I certainly shall. I would like to sit down with the press. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Um, oh god! Hey, don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, when I just point to what you want, you can use the spear. Aim with arrows. That's it. Sugar goes in tea. Uh, we got a soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Ugh. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Box, blatantly correct choice. It's between. Point at Undyne. Undyne. Select her. I was gonna go with the hot chocolate. Or the blatantly correct choice, the T Box. I honestly don't know. Hot cocoa for the win! Oh, I do like. I mean, that was my first choice. Plus, I gotta remember that think this thing is a. It's a hot fridge. We want the win. <laughs> hot cocoa, it is. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container is empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Hmm. Eat the fish. <laughs> fish it is. Are you... hitting on me? <laughs> Undyne's drink. Sword. Acquired taste. <laughs> uh -uh. So I go with the tea box. That sickly yellow or the sugar. Goes to tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Good. I'm glad we were all on the same page on that one. <laughs> Although I did want to try to see what was going to happen with the sword. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Tis true, tis true. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? 
That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. They're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Wholesome story. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Asgore's best go dad. <laughs> Oh, he's the goat dad. I met my goat mom. Now I got a journey to meet goat dad. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... Well... I mean... It's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean... Look, he was supposed to capture you. Goat mama. <laughs> And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook. You know? Oh god, you taught him how to... Oh god. <laughs> I, have, I have things to tell you about his cooking. <laughs> he can certainly go up. So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh god. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be best friends? Jesus. Oh my god. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists, cooks. But with much pride and fire. <laughs> savage. Hatina <laughs> savage. How will you pound? Strong! You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Huh? Damn. KO. Uh, we'll just scrap this into a bowl later. Uh, but for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! Destroy the veggies! They're the cheapest! <laughs> uh, just put them in a pot. How will you put them in? Uh, fiercely! You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box! It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright! Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Oh, the stir! Stir harder! 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 Ah, let me do it. 
<laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Oh, hold right to turn up the heat. Let's go. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's two. Oh, God. Oh, dear God, what have I done? Uh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Burning passion. <laughs> I learned from the best. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. <laughs> Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, that means I can destroy you without regret! Oh god. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. <laughs> Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? Huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid, uh, uh saccharine stick, but... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually. Some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. I just made a friend for life. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. I made a new friend. That poor house is crying. Can I go back in? Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it too. Well. Definitely gotta save after that. Feel calming tranquility. I'm filled with determination. That was pretty awesome. This game just keeps going to new highs. As soon as I think I've seen the top, it just shoots up the charts. <laughs> that's like, that's all it can do. <laughs> all it knows how to do is keep surpassing itself. <laughs> God damn, this game has so much charm, though. Uh, 
<laughs> That's impaling. That's impaling, not stirring. Undertale is a really cute and fun game. Oh yeah, throw away. This is some of my regulars. Uh, Naya, they've been wanting me to play this for ages. <laughs> for years they've wanted me to play, and I'm finally, I'm finally getting around to doing it. And so far, I've, I've not been let down. Uh -uh. I've. Just been kicking my butt for waiting so long. Now let's see. Before I came here. Oh good. The fairy boat person is still here. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Yes. Back to the hot land. Then we're off. I just noticed that it's a long cat. Tra la la. Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Hmm. Well, I guess I can't. I can only. Oh, wait. This is correct. Come again sometime. Tra la la. I'll save you. All the determination. Lab. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> oh god, I feel like I'm being watched. It's too dark to see near the walls. Hmm. Uh oh. Is this fellow? Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered! I'm barely dressed! It's all messy! And. Uh. Uh. Hiya! Oh! I'm Dr. Alfie's. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stopped, uh, uh, stepped out of the ruins, I've, uh, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I'm gonna give him that nasally, yoy voice from The Simpsons. I was originally going to stop you, but uh, watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. <laughs> so, uh, now I want to uh, help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hot lands. <laughs> this is a girl. The voice will stay. <laughs> I know a right way to Asgore's castle. No problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a time issue. A long time ago, <laughs> I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like, uh, robot, a TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um... Anti-human anti combat features, of course. When I saw you coming, I immediately decided. Uh, 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 dang, lady. I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully, we won't run into him. Like the Kool-Aid Man, just. Busted through the wall. It's coming. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Welcome, beauties. Yeah, to today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell. That's gonna be a great show. 
Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Yay! Never played before? Gorgeous. No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Oh god. Made a ton of attacks. I wasn't prepared. Let's check. Attack 30, defense 255. This metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Good. Maybe that's bad. <laughs> Alright. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, more question. Oh, God! You wish wrong. The quiz show continues. Watch out, please. God, that was half my life. Cry! Screaming is against the rules. Here's a terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Pascal. Correct. What a terrific answer. Alphys gives you the answer. The quiz show continues. Install rules. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? B B B. Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Here's another easy one. Two trains straight. Oh, God. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. <laughs> the quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Correct. You're so lucky today. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? I'm so flattered you remembered. The quiz show continues. Damn. That's your question right there. But can't you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's not helping me. They're all heck yeah. Uh... Great answer. I love it. The quiz show continues. That one, I, I just guessed. <laughs> Here's a simple one. Heck yeah. How many letters in the name Metaton? Of course that was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns. At the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Castle. What is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh no, I know this one. It's in the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends and it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. How does Dr. Alphys have a crush? Uh, on time. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probably. Probability of crush. 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. But Dr. Alfie's helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. I like that robot. Well, that was certainly something. Interesting. That, that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask them. 
<laughs> Interesting. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, we could... Uh, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! But wait a second. Please! Upgrades! Here! I upgraded it for you. <laughs> Metaton X is hard. I, I, I can do texting items. It's got a keychain! It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I have been signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Cool. I got the new phone. The new new. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Yeah, oh god, there I am again. Fridge. Rum and it's different. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. You got the instant noodles. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Cool. Let's see. So I got plenty of things left to explore, it seems, but... Uh -uh. I think I'm gonna call my stream here, guys. So let me go back to the save point. I'm having a lot of fun. I think this part of the game, actually the entire game, has just been good fun all the way around. <laughs> it's very clever and what it wants you to do. Except when you look for secret things. Then, that's where I run into a personal problem. But it's, it's, very, it's very cute in how it sets you up for like impossible scenarios and it's like here's the answer <laughs> um but yeah i'm really enjoying um of course undertale i'll be back to stream more um i'm gonna be back later tonight streaming fall guys uh with some of my friends and some of my mods um so anyone who's interested in watching that it'll be around 8 30 pacific standard time and i believe the next time i'll be playing undertale is wednesday night also 8 30 this wednesday coming up pacific standard time so i look forward to playing more um i play a variety of games different days um it's gonna be the stream's second anniversary this month so i'm playing a bunch of viewer games one of them being Undertale, which I'm very much... Uh-uh. See ya! Catch you later, throwaway. Thanks for stopping by. Uh-uh. Appreciate you hanging out. But, um, yeah, just playing a bunch of games that, um, that have been recommended to me, suggested, like, so often. But, um... <clears throat> Ooh, a poll. Give me one second. Didn't, did not see that. I got so enthralled in the Undertale. Can I even see the poll? I guess not. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I just want to thank you all for hanging out. I had a good time. Um, going to be streaming Saturdays and the early afternoon around 1230-ish uh, for a good three hours or so, but I'm having fun. Um, if I don't uh, finish Undertale next Wednesday, I will for sure be playing it Saturday afternoon again. So I hope everyone stops by for that. But um, yeah, as I always say, your viewership and support never go unnoticed or take it for granted. So thank you again for hanging out. It uh, means a lot. I really appreciate it. And I hope uh, uh, everyone has a good rest of your day. It's time for what my number one mod with the dad bod, Dim Kira, calls the Truman Show outro. So, to everyone still watching and hanging out with me, thank you so much. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. It's Sunday. <laughs> gotcha. That's right. I forget. England. Time difference. So, yeah. So, it might be a little different for you. Um, that's why I said 
Pacific Standard Time. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, please do your best. Um, if you've joined the club and followed, then, you know, just be on the lookout for when I'm live. And if it's Undertale, you're more than welcome to come back. If it's something else, feel free to stop by. If not, then, again, like I said, I'll see you all for Undertale. But, yeah, I just want to say no matter where you guys are watching from, uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your uh, your day. And I will be streaming again later tonight uh, some Fall Guys. So if anyone wants to come for that, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, I will catch you the next time I stream Undertale. So take care, everyone. <laughs> Love you all. Till next time. I've been Ego the Visual Culturist signing out. I'll see you guys next stream. <clears throat> Bye, everyone.